Donna Schwartz here. In this quick tip, I want to talk to you about something that's really important that we all tend to ignore. It's our posture. Now, a lot of times we think that our posture is really good, but yet we wind up having pains and, and you know problems with our tone that we are trying to attribute to like a reed problem or a mouthpiece problem or something else. A lot of times, problems with our tone are attributable to, how about that big word, to our posture. How can we fix this? Well, I remember when I studied with Vince Panzarella back, you know, in the Stone Ages. No, <laughs> when I studied with him um, many, many years ago, what he would have me do is stand up against the wall. Back of my head touching the wall, the shoulder blades touching the wall, my butt touching the wall, and my heels touching the wall. And what I would do is I'd be practicing my trumpet in this position. Now, here's the thing. You can't play or perform with a wall behind you on the stage. You can't do that. So you have to really remember what this feels like. Now let me give you a couple of tips about this. And this is, has to do with differences between men and women. Women's hips are wider. Men's shoulders are wider. So when you're standing against the wall or when you're standing, you want your feet for men to be shoulder width apart. For women, hip width apart. A lot of times for women we're told, you know, stand with your, your feet shoulder width apart. No, it's hip width, okay? That's gonna keep you more balanced. So I'm standing against the wall here, heels against the wall, shoulder blades, butt, back of the head against the wall. And I look very stiff, but I gotta tell you, this is very comfortable. And I'm feeling what it feels like throughout my entire body and how my weight is resting on my heels. And what I would do if I was playing any instrument, really, I could practice on a flute neck, I could practice on a trumpet mouthpiece, I could practice on a saxophone mouthpiece. I'd do this for a few minutes. Etc. And then I'd remember what that feeling is and then I'd step away from the wall. Step away, step away. And then I'd practice with that same posture that I felt against the wall. Let me angle, angle the camera a little better. I practice with that same posture as if I was standing against the wall, but I'm not. Now in the middle of what I just did, I realized my left shoulder was a little too forward. And I remembered, no, I've got to feel that shoulder blade against the wall. So a quick little tip like this, Practice standing against the wall for a couple of minutes and then relay that feeling as you're practicing standing. And even if you're sitting, you can do the same thing. You want to feel that same kind of um, feeling like in the back of your head, your shoulder blades as you're seated with both feet flat on the floor. If you can do that, you're going to find that you're going to be able to breathe better and your tone's going to improve. Okay, so that's my quick tip for the week. It's about posture and just practice by standing up against the wall and observing. Be a casual observer. Don't try to manipulate. Be a casual observer. See how you are standing against the wall and what it feels like and imitate that as you are in a performing situation. So thanks for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this tip. If you want more tips, and in particular, if you want three tips to fatten up your saxophone tone, check out the link below and sign up for my website. You'll get weekly practice tips every week. Thanks for joining me again. Take care. Have a great day.